so stress. Not the topic I thought I'd be talking about today, but after yesterday, you know, I kind of figured it's probably not a bad idea at the same time. Good morning. It is Tuesday. And right off the bat, let's not forget our patron producer of the day, Dave Trotter. Thanks, Dave, for putting this together. And uh, for all my patrons for being here. And thanks to all of you for watching in general. And uh, yeah, today, figured I'd talk a little bit. I can't really talk about why I'm super stressed out. There are a lot of reasons why we're all stressed out right now. I think it's something that we're all dealing with to some degree. I've just been having kind of a rough week that, you know, I felt borderline debilitated by some things that are going on in my life. Uh, don't worry, we'll work it out. I'm fine, it'll all be fine. But at the same time, the reality is there. Ah, ah. So how do we deal with it? Oh boy. Right off the bat, there are two things that help me, which are friends and coffee. And I need to get a new shirt. I, I kind of, I, I had a dream that I was wearing like a nice white, like patterned shirt while I was riding around today. I might have to make that happen. Most most of my shirts are still at the chateau, so I gotta change. I gotta, I gotta change up the wardrobe a little bit. Anyways, I'm running late for coffee with French Laura, so uh, let's hit the road. <laughs> I figured, <laughs> I thought about texting you to ask if you were gonna be there this morning and then I was like, I'll just let it be a surprise. What's Good to on? see you, man, it's been a long time. Yeah, I know, I haven't seen you on the wheel for a while. Too. Yeah, it's been, it's, uh, I finally brought it down here. I think I'm gonna have to get the tire replaced today though. Oh, yeah, I can't keep it inflated. Get some hot Kushan biking action here. At least I'm not sweating. The benefits to the wheel is uh, I'm kind of a temporary pedestrian. <laughs> J'ai rencontré Pouchant sur la route. Qu'est-ce que tu euh, qu'est-ce que tu penses là sur le euh, sujet de moi euh, et le recommencement des des les vlogs <rire> C'était la réponse parfaite enfin. I didn't prepare to say that. Did I? Non. T'as pas <rire> t'as pas compris ou? Non, parce que tu as parlé quand tu as mangé avant. Ah, j'ai dit, mais je ne l'ai pas payé pour le dire. Non, c'est comme Je veux I 
love this place. It's great. It's really nice to catch up with French lore as well. I don't think, I don't know if I can make it through this construction site. Whoop, whoop. Managed it. It was really nice to catch up with French Laura, as always. So good to see her. That's the first time I've seen her in like three or four months, I think. And then also great to just randomly cross paths with Bouchon, although I thought the odds might be pretty good this morning. Speaking of catching up with people, it's time to head across town. And uh, oh shoot, I was gonna, I gotta drop off my wheel. That was my goal. Pray up. I wanna get the tire checked out, which means I might be late for lunch with uh, Kate, but we're gonna have lunch with Kate. A little bit of a meeting slash just good old lunch times. But first I gotta drop off my wheel here. And uh, so let's do that. The lunch with Kate is an intentional way of trying to de-stress for sure. Spending time with friends. A friend of mine was asking me recently like what my goals were for the year, for YouTube specifically. He was like, well, what are you hoping to do? Where do you want to get? And I told him, honestly, like I'm excited about YouTube. I'm so, I love making these videos. I love vlogging. I love being on YouTube. But I'm actually pretty happy with where things are right now. Like, sure, I'd like them to grow more. Sorry for the wind if there's wind. I'm trying to block it, but they gave me a coffee and it's a lot harder to block wind with coffee than you would think. I, of course, I'd love things to grow more. Of course, I'd love to get to, you know, a million subscribers someday. Billions of subscribers if I was lucky. But I'm actually pretty happy with where things are. I'm happy with the audience that I have. Hopefully not face planning on camera. I'm happy with you, you know, like I'm really glad that you're here watching this right now. What I really need to focus on is my community, like my immediate friends safe spaces, building on the foundations that I already have for the life that I've created for myself here in Paris, because I do have a pretty great life here in Paris. All things considered, let's be honest, uh, I managed to build something pretty great for myself already, but I want to really make sure that I don't turn into some sort of workaholic, the same workaholic that I've been for years, which is another source of stress, which isn't always bad. A little bit of work stress does you good. I've done so at the neglect of a lot of my relationships, friendships, time that should be spent just relaxing, not filming, not working, and uh, you know, not sharing literally everything I do all day, every day. So, one of the ways that I plan on de-stressing is to really invest the rest of this year as much as I can into those friendships and into my family. Which isn't to say that I won't be vlogging, obviously I'll still be vlogging until the end of time, but you know, I'll also be reprioritizing a little bit of my time. I meant to just stop in for a second. Okay, so he inflated my tire perfectly. We're gonna see how long the inflation lasts and whether or not I put one in. But that's what I'm talking about, like just taking a moment. I felt a little bit bad because I wasn't in a little bit of a hurry, you know, to go join Kate. I don't wanna leave her waiting, but it's so nice just to have a moment to stop and talk. And that's something I wanna incorporate more into my daily life as well, because I feel, you just feel better. You don't have to talk about anything serious even that's going on in your life. Just having a moment chatting with friends by itself is de-stressing. So let's uh, wander on over across the island here. See if we can't join Kate for a, a wee little shwarma. what time it was what's the plan okay yeah that works then I'm not late I'm right on time uh, I can wait an hour it's fine no we didn't I just assumed when we said lunch I just assumed noon totally I'll text it to you all right see you soon sweet so I'm not late <laughs> thought I thought I was turns out she's doing laundry all right so that means I can have a little pit stop and see some good friends of mine who you guys haven't seen in a long time and I know you're dying to see him because 
who wouldn't be dying to see them? I mean, they're just strangers to the vlog at this point. <laughs> that was quite the game of chicken. Yeah, I realized that it was a little scary as I came out. <laughs> we arrived just in time for the beer delivery. This is pretty spectacular. You need help? Look at that handsome devil reading a book. Hey. <laughs> that, that's all I wanted. <laughs> Okay, not only did that make me happy just hanging out with them for a minute. See, this is a day about me just telling you how I'm trying to handle my stress, but also, you know, trying to make myself a happier camper. And in the midst of just hanging out for a moment there and, you know, being with friends, I also got an email from my accountant asking me to call her right away. Because as many of you may know, I've been in the process of forming a new business for uh, a while now. Back when we were in the office, we were working on, it was the process of basically going from being a sole proprietorship to the French version of an LLC, one of the French versions of an LLC, called an EURL, or EURL. It was put on hold because of the pandemic, a lot of stuff. We had some problems with the government not appreciating our first attempt at closing my existing business, my existing quote-unquote sole proprietorship called Auto Entrepreneur or Micro Entrepreneur. And um, anyways, it's been that's been a source of stress as well, uh, weighing on me because, you know, my revenue has been cut significantly because of the lack of tourism and all that stuff. We've had to make a bunch of dramatic changes, to, like dropping the office and some other things along the way. And I knew that the cost of opening this business was going to come back to bite me a little bit with a heavy tax bill. And then, you know, the fees of building, of making this whole structure and hiring a, a literal accounting firm to make everything proper and legal in the French system. It's very exciting in the sense that at least I won't have to deal with my taxes anymore because I don't, the French system, I'd rather pay somebody. But also that knowledge of like, wow, this is going to be expensive, like thousands of euros expensive. And so... Thankfully, gloriously, uh, when she called, I was like, or when she wanted me to call her, I was like, oh man, what's this going to be? I know that they, they've been waiting for something for me, but I don't know what, and I've been needing to talk to her anyways. So I called her and uh, we talked about it. I asked her, are you sure? Like if my revenue is lower, if things are a little bit tighter, you know, is this really worth doing still? And she was like, yeah, yeah. Even if this year, you know, it doesn't really pay off as much. Like, you'll see, next year, you'll be glad you did this. And I was like, okay, I trust you. So we did it. And right as we went to hang up the phone, she said, and <laughs> I, I, I really needed some good news, clearly. She said, don't worry, we're gonna, we're just gonna. <laughs> She said, don't worry, we're gonna waive the fees of uh, creating the business, which <laughs> I, uh, very, <laughs> very on point, very topical for the day, which is how daily vlogging seems to go sometimes, but, um, yeah. It was exactly what I needed to hear, and is uh, a, a huge relief. So, uh, if you ever see this, Sabine, thank you. Merci mille fois. And, uh, I really needed some good news like that. And, uh, it's been a long week, but that, that definitely, that definitely had a very positive impact. So, thanks. I'm gonna go celebrate this now with a shawarma, which will be delicious. A little bit of time with Kate and a shawarma. With some fries, I hope. I'm pretty sure they have fries at Albustan on Rue Montorgueil because if you can't pronounce it, 
You're not allowed to eat there. Just kidding. That's not, that's that'd be a terrible rule. Uh, let's go get a shawarma. noms <laughs> but is it good is the question yeah it's really good we're gonna go now i remembered my uh dream for a collar so we're gonna head into we're next to the largest shopping mall in the city so why not bounce in and get a shirt so i'm not wearing the exact same shirts every day i don't know if it's gonna be open though because i tried to go here last week and, and it wasn't <gasps> oh no i don't have a mask i have an extra one okay there we go we're set and the vlog in it too so now you'll know i saw the doors open at least but I don't know. All right, we'll go shirt shopping another time. It's okay. Well, we can go walk around over to the All right, we'll, walk, we'll take a stroll. If we see something, great. Otherwise, do you want to go to Andalus stores with me? Because I need to get my friend a birthday. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I mean, there's no guy stuff. That's fine. Okay. We'll just hang out for a minute. We'll go get your friend a birthday present, and then um, I'll just enjoy the garlicky taste in my mouth for the rest of the day. Shopping with Kate. We're making lots of invader friends here. Is this uh, the J? Is it clear? Is it Kate? He was really nice. Thanks, Lilian, for uh, helping us find this one in the ground. The other one, there was another one we couldn't flash yet, so it's not active yet. But uh, then we met some nice guys who all have uh, like over 1,300 invaders each. So 50 points. We have, boom, 236 you, 800 me, 1,300 all those guys. We have a ways to go. Speaking of which, where's your shop? Let's go to your, okay, let's go. Great one. Are you happy with what you found? I think she'll really like it. And if she doesn't, I can get it back. But Sarah's really girly and that store is super girly, so. Le petit souk? Yeah. And she was in a sorority, so she's all about like love and happiness. So. <laughs> That's, all right, well then that's the perfect spot for the sorority girl in your life. <laughs> like feel that. Ooh, I it's could wear nice. that. Kate's trying to upgrade my wardrobe a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is like some places are requiring masks. The last place we're in wasn't, which I think you should. This place is, which is good. And they got these little signs to remind you to keep your distance. And they're, uh, they, we're not allowed to try things on in the dressing rooms right now, but they said we could try shirts on over the top of our existing clothes. It actually feels pretty good. It doesn't this feels good? And shopping right now feels good too. What about this one? No. Nah. Stripes are not a uh, not a good idea. Just stay with me. Speak, speaking of sailors. You like, are you happy with that one? Yeah. Oh, we missed women down here. Oh, boo. Well, you want to find everything? No, it's okay, thanks. Okay. I like this place. It's Koss is the name? Koss, yeah. It's cool. I've been needing to buy some clothes, obviously, for a long time, but also needing to find a new spot that has some styles that I might like, and uh, just try it out. Let me know what you think. Okay. Great, sounds good. Cool. I'll get bye. You. bye.
Well, that was unexpected. I think some of you probably go shopping uh, to alleviate stress more often than I do, but I needed to do that. Just I need to buy some clothes and it feels good. I'm glad we did it. Friends, community, breathing, taking time, hunting space invaders, but there's an element of stress that's also just acceptance, like acceptance of some challenges, acceptance of the fact that you are stressed, that I am just kind of, I'm going through some stuff right now. And that helps a lot as well. It can be really helpful. It's really important. But wow, today turned out to be quite the surprising day. And uh, not at all what I thought it was going to be. It's definitely feeling a couple notches better today. Just happened to be, just happened to time things that way, I guess. I think I'll leave it there for today. Thanks for watching. See you bright and early tomorrow morning for yeah, more of this nonsense. And uh, yeah, hopefully a better day for all of us. Sunny your day. And if you're already having a great day and you're having a wonderful week, then congratulations. I hope that continues. Carry on. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.